At the middle of the field, a crowd is gathered. We're getting ready for the log carry. They are all here for one of the main attractions at D-Day, the obstacle course. First group, on your feet! Grab a log, move out! With a log on their shoulders, the first team heads off across the field. Next group! This course is to test to see if special forces candidates can fulfill the demands of their job. As you look behind you, you will see columns of men, and they're working together. This is what this is all designed to do, is to get these guys to work together. Dwayne likes for this course to be as physically challenging as possible. They've got to wear their mask, and they've got to have their paintball marker. If you don't have that, you're not training. The players must work as a team and haul their log across the field into a waiting trailer. That's a long ways to go with a lot of weight on their shoulders. It was great. I'm glad I made it. Though. Guys, this is Bobby Good. This is Bobby Something to do. It beats going to work every day. We're right, right here to have fun, get the teamwork going. Here we are. Yeah, my wife ain't here. <laughs> After the log carry, players wait anxiously for what comes next. Line up now, quick! Drop your gear! You're going swimming! We just did the log part of the uh, Special Forces course. Now we get to get wet. How many want to see me go swimming? Dwayne surprises right, everyone right, by heading right, into the water right, himself. After braving the water, the players run through the tires and are finished with this phase of the testing. Well, it's all cracked up to be. While most players take this experience in stride, yeah. others aren't so thrilled. Uh, I think that's a waste of tension pond. Then everyone grabs his or her gear and heads out for the next objective. Okay, ready. and Frank takes a head count. I'm gonna kill you. As the runners warm up, some begin to feel the heat. Others just take it in stride. Uh, this is fine, I've been there hours to have. The participants head to the hills and the line begins to stretch out. Frank, I appreciate this. and then stretch out some more. <laughs> then the goal is in sight. Dwayne himself is waiting. Goggles off, we race the top. Got a load on those trucks, we're going to Magic Mountain. It's going to be a good time. Good time. Hoo -ah. The first trucks are loaded. Due to the large number of players and the fact that a truck can only haul 25 at a time, some participants get a chance to catch their breath while waiting for the next truck. A little tired right now. We'll make it. A few try to put on a brave front. I am pacing myself. Others are just happy to have survived. I'm the old man trying to keep up with these pups is what's going on. I'm probably old enough to be someone's granddaddy. Then the trucks arrive. Guys. And the next load moves out. Are you really having fun? Oh! <laughs> it, baby. After a short but wild ride through the Oklahoma countryside, go boys up the hill. You find Dwayne on top. A steep climb and another trek through the woods. Over. 
They finally reach Dwayne. Looks cool. like everybody's done with going to Disneyland. Now it's time for some fun in the mud. Oh. All the way. Time for a nature walk. Let's see what happens. More walking, and the final challenge is reached. This is designed for teamwork. We're going to see how you can endure a rope type issue because you guys humped in okay so you're tired to wore out what this is going to do in a situation to where your group can still work together the players must now compete as a team in a tug of war against the other teams we pull our weight no pun intended how about it the first two teams square off let's go As they work through the competition, there are definite winners and losers. But everybody had a great time. Well, now that's entertainment. <laughs>